Hey everyone, it's Jordan from Fish Keeping Made Easy and today I'm back with another UK wildlife video. In today's video I'm going to discuss the tragic decline of the UK's only resident orca pod, the famous West Coast community. So the orca or killer whale actually belongs to the dolphin family. This makes orcas the largest species within this family as they can grow upwards of 9 metres and can weigh up to 6 tonnes. Some people may be surprised that you can spot orcas on the British coastline, but they're actually one of the most widely distributed animals in the world. They are referred to as a cosmopolitan species as they can be seen in an array of marine environments from freezing arctic waters to tropical seas. They are more commonly found and studied off the coast of Norway, Iceland, Argentina, New Zealand and the west coast of North America from California to Alaska. Although this wide distribution could give the illusion there are great numbers of orcas out there, they're actually considered an endangered species. This is due to many factors including the reduction on their natural food supply, pollution, oil spills and their habitats being disturbed by underwater noises from shipping, drilling and human activity. In 2020, an orca was found dead on the English coastline with a large piece of plastic in its stomach, showing the impact pollution has even on the largest marine species. Currently, all orcas in the world are said to be the same species, but belong to different ecotypes. This is due to the diversity within all these widely distributed groups, in aspects such as their hunting methods, appearances, food sources, behaviours, and even their own cultures. The West Coast community of orcas are classified as Eastern North Atlantic Type 2 killer whales. So who are the West Coast community? They are the UK's only resident group of orca whales living on the west coast of Scotland. They are an isolated group who have not been observed interacting with any other groups. Other groups of orca whales are spotted throughout the British coastline, but these groups are not here all year round and tend to follow their prey into and out of the waters surrounding the UK. The group's numbers over the years, however, have sadly declined. The group was said to have had around 20 members in the 1980s, 14 in the 1990s and around 8 individuals in 2016. This group of 8 consists of 4 males and 4 females, but today it is suggested due to a lack of sightings that only 2 of the group remain. These two individuals are known as John Coe and Aquarius. John Coe is one of the most famous, distinctive and oldest individuals in the group, being first observed in 1980. He has a large notch at the bottom of his massive dorsal fin and a bite mark in his tail fluke, suspected this was done by a shark or another orca. Aquarius was first catalogued in 2004 and is regularly spotted by the side of John Coe. The two of them have been venturing further afield down past the west coast of Ireland and recently in 2020 were spotted as far as Cornwall and Dover. So what has caused the decline in the group over the last 40 years and especially since 2016? One issue is this is an isolated group that has not been recorded interacting with any other group of passing orcas and have not been spotted with a calf for over 30 years. Sadly, one of the deceased members of the West Coast community, Lulu, has given us some potential answers and insight into their decline. Lulu was first observed in 1995 and sadly died in January 2016. She was found dead on the shore of the Isle of Tyree. She had sadly been entangled in fishing nets, another significant threat to all marine life. However, her post-mortem provided some sad but important information regarding the West Coast community. It showed she was a sexually mature adult female at around 20 years old, but it also highlighted her ovaries had never produced a calf. It was also discovered her blubber contained one of the highest recorded PCB levels of all time. These are known as polychlorinated biphenyls. At a hundred times over the level it's known to affect marine mammals' health, this will have unequivocally impacted her ability to reproduce. PCBs have also shown to cause reproductive and immune issues in European harbour seals. A 2018 study published in Science stated that toxic pollution is one of the biggest threats to the global orca population and will contribute to their decline. Fertility is one issue, but a lack of potential breeding opportunities could also be another. Orca whales do not interbreed with their own pod. Both male and female offspring stay with their mother their entire lives. They breed with other passing pods, normally within the same clan, this being defined as other separate pods but with similar vocal dialect. So the fact the last eight members were four males and four females is almost irrelevant. The fact a calf has not been seen in the last 30 years may relate back to the fact that a lot of orca pods belong to different ecotypes. If the passing groups around the British coastline are of different ecotypes and genetically different, with an alternative diet, hunting style appearance and pod culture to the resident group, then interaction, let alone breeding, will likely not take place. It has been suggested that orcas of different ecotypes actively avoid each other. This truly makes in this group isolated. So what does the future hold for this group? 
Since the bodies of the other six missing have not been found, people are hoping that they're still alive and will eventually be spotted. However, with just two males remaining in the West Coast community, the future for the resident group looks bleak. Having never been seen interacting with another group of orcas, and there being none of their ecotype anywhere near them, it's unlikely Jonko and Aquarius would join another group, or vice versa. There doesn't seem to be much information I could find on what happens to a group of orca if the group diminishes just to one single member, as they're very sociable animals. Unfortunately, most experts and studies suggest that sadly, the West Coast community will soon become extinct. However, to end on a positive note, there have been an increase in sightings of pods of killer whales throughout the UK, especially around the Shetlands. As always, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video please like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.